What's going on guys? This is Omari and I'm going to give you five red flags to look out for whenever you're interested in buying music promotion from a service or company. And we've promoted probably around 10,000 songs so whenever I give these tips it's not just me spitballing some ideas that I have. This is from things that I've actually seen and done and I know what's possible to do in music promotion. So the first red flag you want to look out for is if a service is guaranteeing that you'll get likes or comments for your music promotion. So this might not apply to Spotify as much because you can only save songs on Spotify, but definitely for YouTube and SoundCloud, if a service says they can guarantee you a certain number of likes or comments, that service is most likely, if not all the time, fake. And it's fake because nobody can say how many people are going to interact with your content organically. With organic music promotion, there's no guarantee that a certain number of people are going to like or comment on your song. In fact, there's no guarantee people are even going to play your song. What's usually done is a real music promotion service can give you a range of what they've seen from previous campaigns. Now that doesn't mean your song is going to perform exactly the same as the previous campaigns, but they can give you a pretty good idea from what they've seen. So even if the promoter likes your song and thinks it will do well, there's no guarantee that over the campaign it's going to perform how they expect it to. The second red flag is you can't talk to any humans before you buy the promotion. So that's either through the phone or a chat box or even email. You can't talk to a real human being so you can get some advice on which promotion option is best for your song, then that service is most likely fake and they're just looking to take your money. Because if somebody comes to our service and let's say they want to promote on SoundCloud, but I don't think the song will perform as well on SoundCloud as it will on Spotify or YouTube, I'm going to tell that person that so that they don't end up spending you know, 500 bucks on SoundCloud when that money could have been used better on YouTube and gotten them more fans and subscribers. Now, that's not to say that the song couldn't still perform well on SoundCloud. That's just what I'm thinking in my expertise. That's the advice I'm gonna give to them. And oftentimes, I'm gonna tell them to go with a smaller campaign to start out first to gauge the reaction on the song before they spend a huge budget on it. So if a service can't give you that advice straightforward and upfront, they're usually just trying to take your money. Third red flag to look out for is if they don't have any previous campaign examples. So even if they're a new company, they should have been doing free promo uh, for some songs so that they could have examples to give their customers of the work they've actually done. And you should be able to go clearly see the results of the promo. And if any of the comments look fake or anything like that, you can usually spot it in a second because they're all gonna be saying how great the song is and it's just not gonna sound natural. So I know specifically with YouTube promo, no matter how great a song is, there's just gonna be a couple of dislikes, maybe even two, two to five dislikes, even if you get 150 likes on you know a bigger YouTube campaign, somebody's just gonna dislike the song. Uh, that's just how it is. So if you went to somebody's you know, SoundCloud promotion page or YouTube promotion page or Spotify and just everything is great and none of the examples they give you have any dislikes whatsoever, that's usually fake as well. The fourth red flag you want to look out for is if they can't clearly tell you how a promotion is done without giving you a bunch of runaround. So if they can't tell you, like, this is specifically what we do for SoundCloud, like for ours, it's SoundCloud reposting. Uh, we tell you that this is our network. You know, these channels are in our network. We filter your song by genre, depending on the channels, and we'll repost it to X amount of followers. Um, like get it on a couple playlists. And here's some previous campaigns of uh, songs that have been done in this genre. If they can't give it to you that clear cut, like if it's a runaround of, oh, you know, we'll email blast some people and we'll do this and that, like, if you ask, like, can I see the list, and uh, they're not giving you a, an answer that you're comfortable with, then that's a red flag, and you probably shouldn't go with that service. And the fifth red flag you want to look out for is if every song in their promotion service does the same. So if they can say, you know, give us 50 bucks and we'll get you 10,000 plays, that's not organic and that's not real. Because if one song spends 50 bucks and they get, you know, a thousand plays with 10 likes, 
uh, two dislikes and maybe one comment. And another song spends that same 50 bucks and gets 10 times the engagement. That's what you want to look out for because you don't want your song getting the same cookie cutter uh, results as everybody else. You want your specific results so that you know, hey, maybe this song isn't the single for the album or the EP. Like maybe we should put more of the budget towards a different song. If you're getting, if everything's getting great results and everybody does the same, then that service usually 99% of the time is not real. You don't want to spend your money there. So those are five quick tips on red flags to look out for when buying music promotion services. You can definitely check out our service and we'll have a link in the video and in the description. Um, if you thought this was helpful, share it with another artist, uh, like this video, comment on it, um, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.